This is my rooftop deck in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It costs $2,700 a month, and I live here for free. Actually, I make money while I live here. Let me show you out. Yes, you heard that right. I currently live in West Philadelphia. In West Philadelphia, born and raised. And the apartment I am currently living in costs $2,700 per month to rent. Now this apartment is a five bedroom, two and a half bathroom, single townhouse. It is part of a whole complex, but it is its own unit, if that makes sense. There are a lot of good amenities about this complex. First of all, it has a rooftop deck. Second of all, it has a garage. Kinda need a garage for the car I drive. Yes, I drive a Tesla. The other reason for me living here that was a criteria is the fact that the landlord allowed me to rent out the extra bedrooms on Airbnb. Now, as you may be wondering on the title of this video, how am I making money while I am living here? I will explain all of that in this video. It's pretty simple and a pretty cool tactic if you're willing to put the work in. So, like I said, this is a five bedroom apartment. I live here, so there's four apartments left that I can do whatever I want with. The goal of moving in here with all these extra apartments was to furnish them out and put them on Airbnb. Rent them out short term, get enough from Airbnb to cover the cost of the rent and utilities. You know, Wi-Fi, gas, and electric. With rent being 2,700 and to be safe, let's add utilities for another 300. So total rent, let's say per month is $3,000. I need to make at least $3,000 per month to live here for free, right? Well, with four bedrooms, that is totally possible. So first, let me show you the structure of this house. It is, it's kind of interesting. When you enter the building from the front street, you have to go up two flights of stairs to get to the first floor. And that's where the living room is with two bedrooms, the kitchen, the living room, a little dining area. And then after that, you go up another flight of stairs where I live. There's three bedrooms up here, a very large and spacious master bedroom where I live in, and two other spacious bedrooms where Airbnb people go to. That doesn't look good. Give it a second and ah, much better. So currently the two bedrooms on the first floor are rented out by month to month tenants that I found on Airbnb actually. When I first started, those rooms were on Airbnb and doing very well. Eventually you find some people that want to stay longer and if they take it off the platform and just do it direct bookings between you and them, it's better for both parties. Less fees on their end, less fees on my end. So those two are fully booked out and they're great people. The other two bedrooms on my floor are vacant and currently furnished and ready for Airbnb. Here is what the queen bedroom looks like, as I cleverly named it. It's just a queen bed with a big TV and a desk. I didn't want to go too hard on these furnishings and design because the landlord didn't want too much work done to it, so I didn't really want to hang anything on walls or paint anything. So I kind of had to do the bare minimum. But people like minimalistic, I guess. They really just want a comfy bed and a big TV. And the bedroom right next to it, now cleverly named the photo room. The reason for that is because I put a photography light in there so that guests can take some cool Instagram or whatever pictures they want during their stay here. As a photographer and videographer, I understand that lighting is one of the most important aspects to a good picture. So even a simple cheap light like that in a softbox will do the job and up their Instagram game like crazy. So how much does each room make? Coming into the apartment, my goal was for each room to ideally make a thousand dollars at the bare minimum. So the two bedrooms on the first floor are smaller. I was hoping those would make between 800 to a thousand where these bigger bedrooms up top would make a thousand to 1500 a month. Those were expectations. And since moving in here, I have met those expectations pretty well, sometimes even better. On average, I would say that the two bigger bedrooms up here brings in monthly around a thousand to $1,500. And then the bedrooms downstairs were bringing in about a thousand to $1,200. So still, we are are in good profit ranges. Of course, all these numbers are variable and always different. You know, you have weekend pricings going higher, weeknights pricing going lower, some days aren't always booked, but averaging it out, those are the numbers. Here are some shots from my Airbnb calendar just to show you what's going on. Okay, so I have my calendar pulled up here and this bottom row is my the queen room. And that's what I was talking about that was pretty consistently booked out. Like you go all the way back here and this is december yeah we're in december right now for the most part these days we're almost a hundred percent booked out and there's a trick to getting your your room booked on a night that you don't think it's going to get booked and i can go over that in another video let me know in the comments if you want to hear about that but uh, what happened here so 
yeah, I guess this was the new year. Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> this is, uh, this is yet to happen. This is January 9th. Yep. So that's cool. And this room is the one right next to it. That's fairly new. I just put that up because I had a longer term month to month, uh, tenant stay there. So since putting it up, let's see. Yeah, it really, it was listed pro yeah, for new year's New Year's Day, that's January 1st. And since then, it's been doing pretty good. You know, a few nights miss here and there, but not too bad. So now that you know the numbers, let's do the math. If my rent per month costs about $3,000 to be safe, and I can pull in bare minimum $1,000 each room, that's a $1,000 profit right there. I am making $1,000 just living here. Let that sink in, that's mind blowing. When I was in college, not too long ago, I'm paying money to live there with a bunch of people. I was actually getting a pretty decent rent. So it was about 450, 500 bucks a month plus utilities. And I was sharing it with five other people and it was a college house, so not the most peaceful environment, if you know what I mean. But now here, I'm in a five bedroom house, much larger, much more accommodating, and I have a garage. This is a small flex, but I really love these holders. I don't know, it's just so simple. It only costs like 20 bucks and keeps your cable from being on the ground and getting run over like that. All right, back you go. And I'm sharing it with working adults and travelers and I get to meet cool people along the way. People from Cali, all across the world. It's it's pretty cool. And don't get me wrong, there are definitely some negatives and downsides to this, which I can cover in another video. But just focusing on the aspect of making money where you live is totally a possibility. And having that extra side income come in once a month, it's, it's a huge plus. Like it really helps out, especially when you have a car payment, an expensive car payment. What I would recommend to anyone looking to do this is to first find either a house, an apartment complex, whatever. Find something that's available. Approach the landlord or whoever owns it. Approach them with this idea that you can live in it with the stipulation of renting out the rooms. Ideally find a four bedroom or higher. You know, three bedroom works too, but the more bedrooms, the more potential for money. Obviously the more bedrooms, Usually the higher your rent's gonna be, but some landlords right now are kind of hurting and they're having a tough time finding good quality tenants. So if you can present yourself in a way that makes you stand out amongst everybody else, make you look professional, you know what you're doing, you'll pay the rent on time, they'll most likely be willing to do this. All they care about is getting their rent. And as long as you can do that, you're good. After I move out of here, hopefully I'll be able to keep this place going as an arbitrage and maybe move on to one of his next properties and do the same thing, who knows? But that will be it for me today, guys. Thank you again for watching. I hope you're enjoying this content. Hope it helps out in any way and provides you value. If you did find value in this video, please give me a like, comment down below, whatever your thoughts are, any questions you may have. Subscribe for more content, and I will see you next time.